Hello friends, welcome to my channel Study Physics and Electronics. Here we will be discussing physics and electronics. But initially I will be starting with electronics. So let me give you a brief introduction about what is electronics. Electronics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of behavior of electrons in different mediums, devices and under different conditions. Now there are various branches of electronics. Digital electronics. Analog electronics, optoelectronics, microelectronics, nanoelectronics, power electronics, integrated circuits, embedded systems. In this lecture series, we will be concentrating on two major branches digital electronics and analog electronics. So, first, I will give you a brief introduction of digital electronics. Digital electronics deals with the study of digital systems. Now, what are digital systems? Digital systems are the ones which are capable of processing digital signals. Digital signals kya hote hain? Digital signals, wo signals hote hain jinki discrete values hoti hain. Which means that they are discrete functions of time. Isko hume graph se samajh sakte hain. Suppose humare paas ek voltage signal hai. Then, it will be having discrete value of voltage at discrete intervals of time, like this. Continuous values nahi hai, discrete values hai. Ab ye jo digital systems hum study karte hai, inki advantages hoti hai bhoat sari. Advantages kya hai ki they are easier to design. Storage is easy. High accuracy and precision. Less affected by noise. External disturbances. Fabrication of digital ICs is simple and more economical as compared to analog ICs. But there is one limitation, a drawback of digital systems. It is that the real world ke signals are all analog. So, if you have to process those signals, you need extra hardware to convert analog signal to digital signal. Now I come to the topics that we will be discussing in digital electronics series. First, number system, Boolean algebra, logic gates, combinational circuits, sequential circuits, logic families, microprocessor and application. Thank you so much for watching. 